Hey, I'm Brandon with Revzilla. Today we are checking out the Fly Racing Dirt Maverick boots available at Revzilla.com. So the Maverick boots are coming in around $150 and these are going to be an entry level dirt boot. Someone out there who's doing some dual sporting or maybe doing some light trail riding, this is going to be an entry level option from them uh, that's still going to provide you with a good amount of protection and we'll get into all of that in just a moment. But before we do, I think it's really important to talk about the overall fit because that's what a lot of people come here for anyways is to hear more about the fit. And I will say, I typically wear a size 10 and a half to a size 11 in most of my riding shoes and riding boots and a size 11 fits me very very well in these. So I would certainly say they're running true to what that sizing chart is going to recommend for you. I would say disregard the Euro tags, go with the US sizing, you should be all set. Now keep in mind these boots at 140 bucks will ship to you for free and as always we do have our price match policy in place that is there to ensure that you're getting the best deal around. Now I mentioned these are going to be an excellent entry level boot option and the reason I say entry level is because the torsional and lateral protection uh, isn't quite on par with what you're going to get for something that's a little bit more premium and speaking of that if you wanted to step it up if you do want that excellent torsional and lateral protection there is the fr5 i think that's coming in around 250 bucks and you're going to get an ankle pivoting system there so it's or an ankle uh, brace system more or less so it is going to help out with that torsional and lateral protection in comparison to this which is a little bit lacking but still an excellent entry level option for dirt riders out there looking for something that's going to give them that protection but it's not going to break the bank so we've got a microfiber and TPU main construction right here at the toe. Really nice reinforcement at the toe area. I will say this feels a little bit on the narrow side for me. It's got a standard footbed, but if you do have wide feet and you know that, that might be a little bit of a problem, especially around in the toe area. I have narrow feet and I could feel that on the sides there a little bit. It was very comfortable for me and very secure, but again, if I had wider feet, that might be a deal breaker in that particular location. Now you can see this hard TPU at the toe, and we're gonna see more of that integrated throughout the rest of the boot. That's pretty much uh, par for the course when it comes to MX or kind of dirt style boots. Thermo molded sole, really good crush protection, really good grip pattern here. You can see the different grips on there, but that's gonna help prevent wear with those aggressive dirt foot pegs. It's designed to withstand the abuse of those foot pegs, I should say. Now as we swing around to the back, you can see that's a little bit lacking as well around the ankle. Usually I like this to be a little bit more stout, a little bit more beefy, but at 140 bucks, again, I really can't knock it too tough, but that's gonna be some additional protection you would get as you move up within Fly Racing's line of boots or you know with other options out there that do exist. Now the medial side, really good grip here. I would have loved to see this maybe a little bit more rubberized just to, to get that better feel and better grip of the frame. A lot of us out there riding in the dirt application, that's where you're gonna be hugging the frame, but I like that the TPU is incorporated that's going to help prevent wear in this area because you will be grabbing that bike nice and snug when you're riding out there on the trails. Now let's work our way to the top starting at the bottom here with the buckles. These are going to be plastic buckles. They're easily adjustable. You just kind of pull these back, pull them out and that's going to allow you to adjust them as you need to do so. They kind of lock into this little slot here and once they're locked in just a simple press uh, and you're good to go. Very straightforward there. Now a lot of boots, and I've seen some uh, at even lower price points, that have a little bit of protection here. Usually we see kind of a piece of TPU that more or less bevels up or it just kind of sticks up off of the boot to give you coverage in this particular area from branches and roots and things like that and uh, from grabbing. So if you have something that's blocking that, you know, that branch or roots and things like that, debris out there, rocks, whatever it might be, is gonna glance over that buckle a little bit easier. So I would have loved to see that incorporated and again I have seen some uh, at lower price points so would have loved to see that not a deal breaker by any means but if I have to nitpick stuff that's certainly going to be one of those things now working our way inside simple velcro at the top very straightforward pretty stout there and then some 3d mesh on the inside you can see that gator almost comes up to that top buckle but not quite and that 3d mesh is just going to help promote some airflow it's very comfortable pretty much all mx or dirt style boots come with a 3d mesh liner on the inside just to help promote some of that airflow because in the dirt riding application out on the trails you're generating some serious heat so any advantage you can get is definitely going to make a difference for you and see i didn't slot that in properly so it didn't buckle right. So you gotta slot that in just right. You'll kind of hear that click most of the time. 
push it down and you're good to go. I think at this price point for 140 bucks, I think Fly's done a great job here. That's giving riders, again, something that's entry level. If you're dipping your toes into uh, you know, some dual sport riding or some light trail riding, it's gonna give you a good amount of protection. You know, you've got that coverage around the shin that you want. You've got really nice crush protection at the sole and impact protection at the toe itself. So it's gonna be a great entry level option. But again, if you wanna step it up and get something that's gonna provide a little bit more torsional lateral protection, check out the FR5 where you're gonna get that ankle pivoting system. So you're gonna get that additional torsional lateral protection. But as an entry level boot, I think Fly did a pretty excellent job here. Now, of course, if you're looking for more details, click that info button. That's gonna take you over to revzilla.com where you can read other rider reviews. And as always, if you have any questions about these particular boots or any other gear out there, please do not hesitate to reach out. Give our gear geeks a call at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot over an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thanks for hanging out with us for a bit and taking a closer look at the Fly Racing Dirt Maverick boots. I'm Brandon, keep it pinned.